Alrighty, guys, so... Um, pretty much drain the water out of the system. And I just have enough water in there to do pillowcases, not even a pillow. Um, as you can see here. Very, very, uh, limited water. So, I'll do the pillows themselves next time, uh, when I have more water. But at least... I can get that washed up and I'll turn it on heavy. That's a nice light load. Now over here, more of a disaster. Um, this blanket, since I wasn't able to spin dry it, is pouring water all over the floor. So I just took those rags I washed, which is totally fine with me, and I'm helping soak up some of that water. The uh, barrel stove it's still nice and toasty warm so the fans running this is gonna take forever to dry so I'm just gonna leave this guy on and let it do its thing and I may open some windows all depending um, or open that good bad boy a little bit bigger something I'm um, just trying to get most of the water under control as it slowly drips out of here so anyways that's that <laughs> I never did get to doing the pallet work yet today which is kind of pitiful if you ask me but uh, I guess it's tomorrow so we're gonna start this bad boy up throw him on heavy and he's gonna go to town washing and cleaning down in there oh yeah nasty so we'll let him rip and I just left the this guy open so any residual water that may be in the system will drip into there um, and then I'll eventually throw that stuff in there so just yeah I'm, once this blanket is dry this guy here he's going from going out of the tiny house and I'll just have to spend some money and get some more blankets just some thin ones to replace this guy Two to four, whatever. If I get a good deal, I'm sure uh, somebody's got something on. But anyways, uh, that's the only piece of clothing, or not clothing, but material that I can't properly dry. So I got to be careful, selective of what I actually use in this system. Um, because I don't make enough money here on YouTube to allow me to buy conventional high efficiency washer dryer setup. So you're seeing what I'm using here, guys. <laughs> it is what it is. But I get by. I get by okay. Three o'clock already, and I do not see any phone calls. So maybe this guy's just... Uh, maybe he won't call till he's done work at four o'clock but we'll find out so other than that um basically just a cleaning day here at the off-grid tiny house what a mess um and there's going to be more of those to come because i got lots more work to do to finish out these windows properly and it's going to be Fun, 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 if you ask me. Not really. Um, and, of course, the price of lumber is insane because of the sickness going on. So, yeah. Just cray-cray, guys. So this guy's got at least another 13 minutes or so to go before I have to worry about any of that. So I'm not even going to go there. How about that? Sounds good to me. So I will see you guys. Whoops. Yeah, my pillows definitely need washing. Dirt and dust on there. Um, I'll have to wait till the next big rainfall, guys. That's the way it is. But at least we know this guy works well and got to try it out. So that's pretty sweet. All right, guys, I got to show you something. This is crazy. Um, take a look. Can you see that? Yeah, 
You guys can see that, right? <laughs> the barrel stove is literally cooking this bad boy from this far away. That is amazing. Look at the moisture boil off of there. Pretty freaking wild. And I'm assuming as one section dries, um, any remaining moisture will wick into the dry spots, as far as I can tell. That's pretty crazy, guys. Look at that. This is the center of an empire that never speaks its name. <laughs> it's definitely not warm. Well, it is warm, but not to the point where you got to worry about it. Pretty crazy. But I got to run this. I just loaded the rest of that scrap paper up in here that I had. No lumber whatsoever, other than just the leftover remnants that were in there. And, uh, yeah, that's just fine and dandy with me. Windows open as well. So this is literally cooking this giant blanket dry, which is, and you can see the dry spot starting there. Huh. Let's feel those dry spots. Oh yeah, warm. That's crazy, guys. And then this will help out because once um, once this blanket's dry, I'm gonna take all the stuff that's on the floor that's soaking wet, throw it up on there, let it dry, and then I'll use my mop to clean up the water and mop the tiny house. So unfortunately, I'm donating that to my parents. I already got off the phone with them. They called to see what was going on. And I said, yeah, I'm just over here cleaning and doing my thing. Um, and I talked to my dad. He said, yeah, that guy never phoned. So I'm um, not worried about him. But we did pick up another job. So not too worried. Oh, also, the new window, guys. Take a look at this. Humidity level. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty cool. Humidity city, eh, guys? So uh, that's why I have every single fan in the tiny house is running, which is nice. And we're just going to let this baby cook and do its thing. And I'm pretty impressed with this entire set up very impressed actually so very cool uh, just watch another documentary I've gone through three today I haven't been really watching but mostly listening because they're playing in the background as I work but uh, yeah and oh I left this window a crack and I gotta go over and shut that window because I assume we're gonna have a bunch of crap and then I got uh, spillage leftover wood pellets that I got to take care of at some point but for today I think we're gonna just uh, let the fire burn down and it should have enough time to thoroughly cook and dry out all my stuff sweet okay guys so what I did was I adjusted the blanket because um, the face that I filmed earlier is dry. You see this spot here? It's completely dry. You can tell with the color difference here um, quite drastically. So this is all drying. And the reason for me to tilt it up like this is if I put my hand back in here, the heat is radiating into the blanket and going upwards and around, thus drying the entire thing better than just the one side. So it's still pretty wet as you can see it dripping, but not to worry because I'm going to use all that water and crap off the floor and mop up the rest of the trailer um, and go from there. So I just want to update you guys with that. Um, working good. You just got to watch it and be mindful. Don't be stupid. Don't put it too close, you know, and the barrel stove 
is kind of on its way down now so uh, I don't have to load this again because it should have enough just to finish this blanket off and go from there so pretty sweet and the humidity levels are dropping now as the window is cleared up just got a little bit here tiny 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 yeah so not too shabby guys so combination with the heat and all the fans on we're getting her dried out in here and adding we're adding humidity and taking humidity out of the air at the same time so pretty much all set with the laundry it's now I'm gonna turn this down it's now four o'clock and 61% humidity in here now 71.9 degrees Fahrenheit pretty comfortable or 21.6 and it's about 50 out um, so yeah pretty pretty friggin happy with the setup let's check out the solar everything's still on um, about 9.23 amps coming in off the solar batteries are sitting at 13.17 they're on trickle but uh, that's the way it is so yeah I'm just gonna stay here watch this thing as it slowly um, continues to dry off you can see sections starting to migrate that's pretty cool guys I like it